Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video yesterday that Microsoft could be forcing unsupported Windows 11 insiders back to Windows 10. And in that video, I mentioned that Microsoft had started notifying Windows insiders using unsupported hardware that they should downgrade to Windows 10. And I will post a link to that video down below if you are interested. Now, this video is just a very quick update video um, uh, after posting that video yesterday. And um, some more information now has come to light since that first video I posted. Now, over on the uh, Windows Insider program Twitter page, Microsoft has said in a tweet, and I quote, the PCs given an exception will no longer receive any new future Insider preview builds from the dev channel, but will still get cumulative updates for Windows 11 leading up to GA, that's general availability. As I said, there is a distinction between new builds here. So that's what Microsoft is saying over on Twitter currently. And basically, to sum that up in a nutshell, this means if your PC does not meet the hardware and system requirements of Windows 11 and you are running unsupported hardware currently in the Insider program, you will still continue to receive cumulative updates, which uh, Microsoft rolls out on a weekly basis to insiders, but you won't be getting the Insider preview builds from the dev channel in the future. So basically, when Windows 11 reaches uh, general availability, that's GA, um, you will have to downgrade to Windows 10. Now, at this stage, there's still no word from Microsoft um, what's going to happen to Windows 11 insiders uh, who decline to basically, uh, uh, you know, don't downgrade back to Windows 10. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.